What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another great unboxing video. Now today we've got a really interesting model kit. This is the 1997 Ford Crown Victoria. This is the Ohio State Highway Patrol model kit. And it's a skill level one snap together. Remember when these were all over the place back in the day? Did you pick one up? A lot of people picked up several just really for the light bars. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Breaker 19, Breaker 19. We're heading all the way back to 1997 as we check out Lindbergh's Super Snap Ultra Crown Victoria Ohio State Highway Patrol Car Snap Together Kit in 125th scale. On this side of the box, we get another wonderful three quarter shot of the actual Ford police car. And it says you get a detailed chassis with complete suspension, chrome plated parts, vinyl tires, and a detailed interior. On this side of the box, we get a wonderful side view of the real state highway patrol car from Ohio. And you can see just how, how much they duplicated this model in the model kit box. It says paint cement is not included and all the rest of that great stuff. Looks like it did get bashed in the corner here. We also have a copyright 1997 by Craft House Corporations right there. All rights reserved. On the bottom of the box, we have some more details about our Crown Victoria. It is intended for ages eight and up. The model kit is eight inches in length, which is 20 centimeters. We also have the instruction sheet with Japanese, French, German, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. So again, you get a lot of cool things in this model. Now, as we open up the box, we can get a great surprise. Ha <laughs> ha! As we see our instruction sheet, which Danny the dog will take a look at just after this segment. We also have our decal sheet, which Danny the dog will show you at the end of the video. Then here we have our nice body and the interior and our chassis. Now, I have looked at this before, so no surprise to me, but there's some of the police package stuff in there. There's our clear window, and we also have our tires and the axle there. Some of the body moldings and the car seats. Uh, and the steering wheel. <laughs> A little difficulty there. We've got our chrome wheels. And then we've got our chrome light bar package and police detail, as well as our red transparent parts. So now let's clear the box out of the way and hand this over to Danny the Dog. Breaker 19, Breaker 19, this is Danny the Dog from the K9 unit. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the 1997 Ford Crown Victoria Ohio State Patrol instruction sheet. That was a mouthful. So here it is, let's take a look. Now as the instruction sheet unfolded there, you can see that there isn't really any photograph of the model. That's because of all those languages up there. English, Japanese, like you name it, it's all there. So that's what we basically get. So here, Trevor, hand me that stick. Okay, so there's the important read this first section. And then down here we get a bunch of the symbols that you're going to see as you build the model kit. And then it says here, every effort has been made to manufacture this kit complete in every way. However, should you be missing a part, contact Lindbergh. Well, the only problem with that is, of course, Lindbergh is now part of round two. And at the time of this model kit, well, Lindbergh was their own company. So panel one starts out a little bit differently from all the other model kit instructions here. What we have is our interior, which is a big bucket, which is nice. It's got the uh, police crime computer in here shotgun and the two-piece bucket seats and again it's got the little rectangle in there with a bar on the back so you can just snap these together well it is a snap to get a kit after all much like that uh, Ravel uh, Chevy Impala the 97 so again very neat now here in panel 2 we complete our interior with the cage in the back that's to protect our officers from the criminals that would be in the back there or the perpetrators and then here we've got our dashboard. You get a decal for the instrument panel. Now here you get the radio, so you can listen to Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Actually, you should be really listening for police signals. 
Anyway, there's the shift lever and the steering wheel. So all this goes together with panel one and you get your complete police interior package. Now panel three shows the interior bucket and the glass and the body all being connected together. Now all of this is molded in color. So if you don't want to paint it, you don't have to. Of course, the uh, silver gray of the body here is the exact Ohio police color. So again, it makes it nice and simple for the kitties. Here in panel four, we see our one piece chassis with the engine block and the uh, rear axle differential and everything all molded as one piece. Now the wheels are actually two pieces. So you get your tire and your wheel and those connect together and they're attached together with a metal axle. Again, same for the back. Panel five is very simplistic. There's our chassis going down onto the body and the front pan also gets put in there and it's all held together by these four screws. So now we'll do a two for one here. So in panel six, we get the police light reflectors gluing down onto this base. And then there's a piece of trim which goes on the back here. And then after that, in step seven, we get all the little dome lights going on the top. So it has a police light lens here and here. I think they're different colors. That's what's being, that's what's going on here. So we'll take a look when Trevor shows us the clear parts. Panel eight shows the grill being installed on our car, as well as the light bars going into the holes on the top of the roof. And then here we have our bumper guard and some driving lights, which will go right there. Panel nine shows our left and right hand side mirrors with the lenses going in place. And then we have a spotlight lens and a right spotlight. And there's a left spotlight and lens which go on the outsides of the car. And then we get our right and left hand side tail lamps. Finally, at the end of our decal sheet, we get all the locations for our decals, which I will show you toward the end of the video. This is a very colorful kind of car, so this will be a really cool decal sheet expose. Now let's switch over to Trevor, our main man here, as he takes a look at all the plastic parts. Thank you once again, Danny, for that wonderful lead-in. So here is our Ford Crown Victoria. And again, a nice body by Lindbergh. This is a one piece snap together kit, of course, molded in that charcoal gray metallic, which is uh, synonymous with the Ohio State Patrol. Now, if I sound a bit funny, it's because I've got a tooth that just got pulled out. So I'm trying to readjust to talking. But anyway, uh, that aside, look at the nice door handles on here and the trim package. And then in the front, it's even got the little vents in there, just like the real car did. Really nice. If you need a four door, if you want to just build a family car, again, you've got it in this model. There's the gas tank filler cap right there. And uh, flipping it over, there are some mold marks. I'd, I'd especially try to get the ones in the roof, but uh, overall, really nice. There is flash along the bottom here. You can actually see it, and feel it. But again, for a snap together, simple snap together, very nicely done. And molded in color with this high gloss plastic. Again, you don't really need to paint it. So excellent for that beginner model, modeler. <laughs> and here we have our chassis for our Ohio State Patrol car. And again, it does look really nice. The detail in here is crisp. It will be a little bit of a trick to take a paintbrush around here to get those exhaust pipes and the muffler system all set up, especially with the catalytic converters and whatnot. But overall, it does look really, really good. I have to do a little research on the color of the Ford engines at this time period. They might be black. I think there was a lot of black paint being used. They started to get away from uh, colored engines, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Always do your research. It's just a Google click away. Look at that front suspension molded in there. It looks perfect. Again, all the nice detail. When they do this as a one piece, sometimes they're almost better than having separate parts. Anyway, there's a, that fuel cell and our holes for screwing it all together. And we also have a trademark up there. But overall, I mean, this is excellent. The uh, molding is crisp, feels solid. A couple of mold marks underneath, but nothing really to worry about. Again, excellent work by Lindbergh. Now here we have our interior tub without the police accessories for right now. So this is what a standard Ford Victoria would look like. 
The seat detail in here is really, really crisp for a snap together. The door panels look nice and the interior carpet looks good as well. There's our dashboard, our steering wheel, our steering column, and the uh, bucket seats front and the backs. So again, really nice. Let's bring this up to the camera. Again, you can see these little points in here where it's all going to click in with the front seats. Look at those nice door panels. The only downside is the door handles are, well, you can see they've just got the tops. So you're going to need a painting trick just to, uh, you know, paint that to look like it's a handle and not a thing going down the side. There's our automatic floor pedals there. So we've got our gas, our brake, and the little parking brake pedal. Again, really, really nice. Look at the detailing on the seats. That is really excellent for a snap together kit. No mold marks underneath, but I did notice some, well, they're under the seat. So that's really, really good. You won't see that once it's all together. There is one behind the parking brake light, but I don't know if that matters. Again, there's our parking brake light. So you're gonna need a little bit of uh, transparent red right in there, but it will turn out quite nice. So now let's move that to the side. Take a look at our dashboard here. Again, really excellent crisp detailing from Lindbergh. They left the instrument panel smooth in here, so there's no gauge to actually paint. So you will need to apply that decal. Actually, I'm wrong. I can see them. They're very faint in there, but they do exist. Again, you'd need the decal. Um, there's, there's all the radio and everything in there. There's also the glove box at the bottom, and we've got our airbag right in there. So around this time period, CD players would be a common feature in there, so you could listen to all those great 90s hits. There's our steering wheel. Again, a really awesome looking thing. It's interesting, uh, all the music from the 90s is really defining what people are listening to these days. So that's interesting. We have achieved uh, a new, new point in music, as it were, back in the 90s, Generation X did. Anyway, there's our front bucket seat. And like Danny was saying, there is a rectangle back here. And on our nicely molded seat back, all you need to do is press these two together. And there you go. Like you don't even need glue. But glue always helps. I always like using it in the snap kits. So have you built this model before? If so, let us know in the comments down below. And again, you can just see how wonderful this whole thing is once all the pieces are together. So let's take a look at how they handle those police pieces. So here's our police package pieces, as well as the front bumper, which I did miss. Now let's, let's just take a look at the front bumper for a moment first. So again, you can see the nice detail up underneath there. Really, really cool. Flat in here, so there's the little holes for attaching underneath. So this all bolts up together underneath the car. A little bit of flash around the edge, but a little sandpaper and hobby knife, clean it right up. So there's our base for our police lights. And there's also these two little black, oh, that's the side mirrors. Okay, so there you go. That's the housing for the side mirrors. And again, really nicely detailed, nice and crisp. A couple little mold marks in here, but maybe they'd be covered over or you can scrape and clean them off. So now here's the actual police package components for our model. So there's that nice uh, little grill wall in there so that uh, the guys in the back can't assault our officers. Look at that uh, nice computer panel, man. There was a lot of computer back in the day. It's a monitor, all the little buttons. There's a keyboard in there. And then look at all this other stuff. Like, what is it all? <laughs> if anyone actually worked for the Ohio State Patrol back then, maybe leave a comment into like what all this was. There's our shotgun. My name is Horace. <laughs> we watched Monster Squad the other night. And then we've got our CB radio and everything for the uh, for phoning back into headquarters. So again, I mean, looking at this, it's really nice. And there's that bumper bar, the overrider thing. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that. A couple of mold marks back here, which can easily be cleaned off. So again, really wonderful work. I think what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this into an RCMP car for up here in Canada. So I bought the model with the intent to convert. But unfortunately, I had RCMP decals and in the High River flood, they all got wiped out. And here we have our chrome components, which make up the model. 
And uh, there's all those little flasher lights that go up underneath in our light bar. And then we've got our mirror inserts and some parking lenses. There's our spotlights and uh, that front bumper, or uh, the grill with the <laughs> turn signal lights on it, pardon me. And then here we have our wheels with the Ford emblems in there. A little bit of black wash around the edges will bring this all right up and make it look nice. Let's take a look at these wheels. Again, you can see the nice design in there. Excellent work by Lindbergh for just a simple snap kit. And then the wheel backs, of course. So there's a stopper there. So the tire will push onto the front and uh, not push right through. Now looking at this again, there's, oh, that's the backup for the light bars there. And then there's our grill. Look at that, that's nice. Again, a little bit of black paint inside here, and that'll bring it all up. There's the Ford Oval, and I do believe that's a decal that would go on there. Again, look at the nice headlights and then the wraparound turn signal lights. Very nicely done. Let's just turn this over. Now, somewhere there should be round lenses for in here. Maybe they're on the clear parts. Again, though, a really nice work by Lindbergh for such a simple snap together kit. And here we have all our clear components, which again nicely snap up into place. Now this has got that long attached roof in here, sort of like the old 60s snap togethers and promo kits and early AMT type models. Only this is not like little straps that bridge in, if you've seen the earlier videos of mine, but a full panel. So I can actually see mold marks right through the top here, so those would have to be cleared up. But you could paint all this, well, up underneath in a gray color. And then here you'd paint around your windshield and the rear window with some flat black. And then over here we've got all our red components. So there's those Ford tail lamps as well as the uh, little dome lights up top. And then there's more of the clear domes and the ones for the spotlights. So again, really nice work on here. Very simplistic though. Uh, but you know, for a snap kit, this is really all you need. So yeah, just Get rid of those with your number 16 hobby blade and some sandpaper to smooth it out. And then paint right into here with some like flat gray or something like that, just to make that look nice. Again, the detail on the tail lamps is really, really nice and crisp in there. And those little dome lights, flasher lights are really nice as well. And you could say the same for the clear. So again, very easy to uh, put together in the model. I noticed there's a couple little tabs on here. Here, let's just take a look. See little tab down below? So that would snap into place on that light bar base. And overall, this should look really, really cool on your shelf. Now here we have our tires for our Ford police car. And what's interesting is these are Goodyear Eagles, but they're not the directional tires like all the tires that were included in the 90s kits. But they are kind of directional because they are, the tread is actually angled. There, try to focus in on that. But what's really nice is there are raised letters on here, which say Eagle, uh, Goodyear Eagles. So again, really nice work done by Lindbergh. And these are skinny tires. You know, it, it almost makes you wonder if you couldn't put these in like a custom 1960, you know, Chevy Impala or 64 Impala by AMT or something like that. I wonder if they'd actually like be the same width as the Firestone tires. But at any rate, and well, that's another thing. I'm kind of surprised these are not Firestones because Ford, I think, had a contract with Firestone back then. But at any rate, here we go. And they're nice tires. Now here's our decal sheet for our Crown Victoria Ohio State Highway Patrol. And you can see on the door decals that it kind of looks like the Indy Pace Car decal with the wings sitting out there. There's our instrument panel. This decals for the top of the battery, I do believe. And then I, I think these are Crown Victoria type of uh, logos on there. Now here's our license plates for the police cruiser. And you can see it's got a CB channel nine. So there you are. Number one, nine, three, three, all our Ford emblems. And then we also have these pinstripes on here and the state trooper decal for the trunk lid, as well as our American flag. So again, you can see how colorful these are. Lots of yellow on there, but that looks right. Almost looks like an Alberta plate with the white and red. So again, a very cool model. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that look at our 1997 
Ford Crown Victoria Ohio State Police car from the Super Snap Ultra Kits. And uh, again, remember buying these back in the day? They were everywhere. Did you buy one? Did you build one? Let us know in the comment section down below just how much you enjoyed this kit. So if you really love these great unboxing videos, tune in every Friday. Also check our video backlog. We have done a ton of these things. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Check out our model cars for sale right now at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Try to become a member to our channel for more great fun. And until next time, everyone, happy model building. There's the phone.